Murder rips apart an Atmore family after a woman and her boyfriend are accused of killing her son-in-law. Police started their investigation in the Nokomis community around 7 o'clock last night. Fox 10 News reporter April Douglas spoke to the grieving family, including the victim's pregnant wife. Liz Porter says coming home without her husband is hard. Knowing he'll never come back is even harder. The pregnant mother of three lets it all out as she prepares to talk to us about the events that led to his death. Me and my mama was arguing and everything, and my husband come outside to break it up, and he snatched a rake out of my mama's hand, broke it across the cedar tree out there, and then her boyfriend jumped out of the van and just shot him down, shot him down like a dog. Now Clarence Luker and Liz's mother, Lorraine Gray, are behind bars charged with Kenneth Porter's murder. The suspects were caught hours after the shooting. Kenneth's mother, Vanessa Porter, feels like her heart has been ripped out. And then when we got there, they told us he was gone. <sighs> he had apparently passed away in the operating room because they took him straight to the operating room. They said there was three bullet holes. It all happened before the sun went down Thursday in this tiny trailer park in the Nokomis community. Witnesses say Kenny was standing right here with kids all around him when the suspect shot him. My little boy was standing right there in front of me, went to pick him up and he shot him. And then we thought he shot the baby and everything. My little girl, Taylor, said, no, mama, he didn't shoot the baby, he shot daddy. Liz Porter's nine-year-old daughter saw the man who taught her to fish shot before her very eyes. Now Kenneth Porter will never get to meet his baby girl. I don't have nothing. I don't have no job. I don't know how I'm going to take care of my kids. I don't have nobody now. It was the only one I had. I don't have nobody. Mama. Mama. <laughs> In Escambia County, Alabama, April Douglas, Fox 10 News. Both suspects are behind bars awaiting a bond hearing.